Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one and only Nick's Games. And first off, I would like to apologize if the me you're seeing is messed up. By messed up, I mean not on sync with my voice. I'm actually recording this with OBS, but you're seeing my face in XSplit because today we're going to be Chroma King in XSplit, meaning I need this background up back here in order for you guys to be able to see the chroma key happen. So if the voice is off sync from the face a little bit, I'm sorry, but the tutorial isn't affected by that because guess what? It is on sync with what I'm doing on screen, even if it isn't on sync with my face. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump on into this. Now I've already got X split up and I've already got my camera selected right down here, which needs to focus. Focus camera. There we go. It's just selected right down here. The chroma key, it's very simple. All you've got to do is right click on it and then go over to color once you're in color you see right here chroma key this is going to allow us to take up the background but x split is smart way better than obs because as soon as we hit chroma key boom done walk away if you have good lighting like i do i've got five lights now yeah i've got five lights to light my green screen which means my chroma key is very crisp it's very easy to do if we go ahead and take it off, I can show you that, as you can see, we've got dark greens here, and then the light greens, and it just focuses on the dark greens, focuses on the light greens, takes both of those out, and it'll get everything else in between. A really good chroma key, or a really good green screen, doesn't have any color variants, meaning it just a, looks like a shot, solid sheet, but I can't do that. Mine is hung from the ceiling up there, as you can see. So, because of that, being hung from the ceiling, I can't get a perfect key. It's going to have some you know, ribbons in it, like divots and stuff like that, and some waves, so that's what I have to do, and that's what XSplit does, however, if you have a really good chroma key, it'll just be all one color, like a wall, for example, would just be all one color, assuming your lighting is good, but again, if you just get on a chroma key, it works, now, Nick, what if it doesn't work for me right off the beginning, well, it could be one, because you don't have a green screen, you might have a blue screen, or even a red screen, if we go ahead and do a blue screen, it's not going to do anything. Why? Because I don't have a blue background behind me. If I did, it would chroma key that out. If I had a red screen as well, it would chroma key out the red. And as you can see, red screens aren't that great. Why? Because your skin has pigments of red and it's in you turn into like a weird smurf style thing if your background's blue, which is what the background behind this is, or black or whatever. For example, if I, if I turn this off, this turns into that. If I turn, you know, I can't get it any other colors. I don't have any other colors behind that. But yeah, so I'm just like a, I'm a member of the Blue Man Group now. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this off and pull this back up with a right click. And then if we go back to a green screen, yep, green screen, there we go. Now the anti-aliasing, if you turn none on, I can do it again because I have good lighting. What that is is the oversampling. As you can see, my shirt is a little affected by that. If I turn it back on high, it's not as effective, so that's how that works. I would recommend leaving it on, and it just is up to your computer resources as to whether you can handle it. Most can. As far as what this is over here, that's the level of chroma key. As you can see, if we turn it up more, it goes way less. If we turn it down more, it goes way more. So much so that my shirt's chroma keyed out as well as my teeth. So there is that. If we go back to where it recommends, which was 50 right here. Boom. Not 85. 50. Boom, it's nice and perfect. This right here changes the color of the background. Isn't going to really affect things too much, but it can affect things a little bit, specifically in my shirt. If you see that, see how my shirt is now kind of chroma keyed more? Right there, versus at zero, not at all. Pretty simple stuff. That's how you can chroma key an X split. Quick and easy, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. Happy chroma keying. And there's some videos, and down that way, we've got Nick Motivate, which is my motivational series, where I give you a spiel to hopefully get you up on your feet and doing the thing and working to your goals. It's awesome. Go check it out. And down the other way, no, this way, the other way, we've got my thoughts on YouTube Red. YouTube Red is now out. It's a subscription-based ad-free model for YouTube. So go check it out and see my thoughts. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We have already. I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace.